ko Patricia Tuihi, ka rei toku ingoa, ko Philippa Moses toku ingoa, ko Erika Nuku toku ingoa. All three of you have been uh, attending Rika Wānanga? Aye. 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 What have you learned from the Wānanga? Um, different uses for kai, um, how to make hummus, new recipes, mm. um, and lots of healthy eating. And throughout this Rika Wānanga, we haven't given our kids kōrio, only the ones that come in and they to make their own pack, one at the back, but otherwise it's just um, water, lemon and orange and mint. So mm -hmm. we've added mint to the flavour now. Mm -hmm. So were you giving them other drinks before that? Oh, yeah. cool. lemon Narrow. and orange juice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. So have you used any of that learning from the Reka Wānanga in other areas of your life? Aye. 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 We've, um, yeah. we've taken it back to Koanga, so everything, every, every time we have a reka wānana here, we take it back to Koanga and we do the hummus for them, different um, dressings, the pizza so making, and so it's really quiche, quiche mm. guacamole, that's a hit now. <laughs> yeah. Guacamole. Yeah. Aye, guacamole. Mm. They used to look at it and go, ooh, because it was green, but now they're starting to dip their carrot sticks and their crackers. Yeah. And even um, for myself, within Kohanga, but um, our, our whāraki hui, because I've brought them back onto the marae here, and so we're doing a practical and we make pizzas and that as well, as part of our learning. Yeah. Mm. And um, with the seeds and all that, because we, we went that often into seeds, but now we're adding seeds to everything, and everyone's going, oh, that's a lot of seeds, and they go, yeah, that's Philippa and Dereka. <laughs> <laughs> but so they what like kind it. Of seeds are you the pumpkin seeds, sesame seeds, and um, sunflower seeds. Mm. Yeah. And do the kids love that? Yeah. Yeah. Yep. They're getting used to it. Seeds on the top of the quiche, and yep, they're getting there. What would you normally serve? Like you said before. Well, th that without the seeds, and um, yeah. Mm. But it's just seeing more seeds in the salads. Like you do a salad, but we'd never used to have seeds yeah. in there. Yeah. I know what it was for, but I didn't used to use it that often. But now I'm, all the things I'm learning, I'm bringing that into our, our catering and mm. kōhanga and home, home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kids love pizzas at home. Have you noticed any difference in the in the in the tamariki um, eating um, healthier kai? At home, oh. At, for me personally, at home, my kids are, or oh, my little ones are good. My bigger ones are. Uh, Improvement at Kohanga. Yeah. Yeah, like more settled, eh? Settled? Mm. Me and my kids are eating it. Mm. They're fussy eaters, but they're eating it. Is that important to you as mothers? Yeah. Yes. Because yeah. my older girl, it's like, ugh, oh, she's a <laughs> junk eater. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. yeah. But the little ones are good. What's your favourite junk? Mm. You know, K fries for my kids. <laughs> For breakfast she has that Nutella on toast. <laughs> yeah. For our um like we've got it in gardens now so we're gonna have thriving gardens because it's new to our whanau the way because they used to dig into the ground and um so it's gonna with all that composting whatever's in there it's mm. gonna be a thriving garden. Yes, cut out all the fizzy drinks that are on the table, go to the water and all that. Healthier, um, like when there is a wine and on or something, the simple snack things, not hard out. Yeah, heavy and, kai, eh? Heavy and, kai. Like, and trying to teach the whanau to cut out on the boil-ups and all that and change their way of um, cooking. Mm, even it will take a while, but at least yeah, they'll get a, oh, yeah, made a start. Yeah. And even Just looking at your different types of meats, like your, you know, to cut back on the meat and, and not so much processed meat either. So, you know, mm -hmm. like mints and like sausages is processed, bacon's processed, mm -hmm. um, corn silver cider is all processed and just addressing those issues so that we're not eating too much meat, more chicken and fish and even no meat. Is there anything in the Reka Wānanga that you girls have seen that may be helpful to any of the rangatahi? Not so much the babies, but we've had rangatahi teenagers around the kitchen in the marae. As you as young mothers and aunties, have you seen anything that the Reka Wānanga may offer those young people? Cooking skills, 
<laughs> cooking skills. Mm. They're the next up thing coming cookers. Yeah. <laughs> Healthy cooking. They enjoy making the pizza. Yeah, they, they, they love it. Making it in. Yeah. And that's for yeah. the babies too. Yeah. Even the babies enjoy making the pizza. You know, the four, five year olds. Mm. And um, and for the young ones too, like getting them into their uh, marae aerobics or you know just something fun for them to do. Mm. Yeah. Mm. So that was good to bring in on Vika to keep them a bit occupied. Cool. Yeah. And for the kaumahi to get out there and have a break from the kitchen and do a <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> jump jam. Kia ora wani Kia ora.